everyone and welcome to Perfections, the channel that is all about perfume perceptions. Today we are going to talk about perfumes from the Middle East or perfume brands from the Middle East. I'm going to have more videos on the topic because I have more brands to introduce you to, maybe you already know them. And now, before we start, if you're new to the channel, I would like to invite you to consider subscribing to it. And if you're coming back, I'm really happy to have you here again. Let's talk with the most famous uh, perfume dupe uh, on YouTube, probably. And this one is this shiny Swiss Arabian Shaga Food. This is the old uh, bottle for the uh, Western uh, market. And now I, they have a bottle uh, I'm going to show you on the Shaga Food as Swad, uh, flying through it with, the, um, with our alphabet. So essentially, uh, this one is a dupe for Oud Bouquet by Lancôme, Maison Lancôme, everyone knows it. Um, if you don't know it, uh, that's a um, Oudy perfume uh, with rose and saffron and praline. So it's essentially it's a gourmand perfume with Oud and rose and saffron. Um, I don't smell almost at all the rose in here. Uh, probably just creates this slightly powdery effect. Uh, what I smell the most is just a chocolatey oud with some saffron. I really like it, it's very sugary sweet. To me it's not sickening sweet, but to many people it is, so uh, you may want to consider this uh, before buying it, but it's very uh, affordable, so I think it's worth a buy and buy. And performance is great, uh, both projection and longevity are amazing. Then another one of the line is Shaga Food Al Swap. So this is the new um, packaging. I think this is only for the Western market. Um, so I think uh, the uh, performance level is the same as Shaga Food. This is more of an incense rose. It's not sweet, it's dry, and it's like incense stick with rose smell. And it's very beautiful, of course, it's way more complex than that. It creates this incense aura around you when you move and it really stays with you the whole time. It's not the type of perfume that you get easily anosmic to. So it's a good uh, company and a very great value for the money. I uh, highly recommend this one for the uh, cold weather season. Another perfume from a Swiss Arabian is this one, which is Areji Al Sheila. So this perfume is the is a flanker of the line um, Zara Al Sheila. So it's always the same line, um, and this is less sweet, and um, it's more spicy. It's spicier, and um, I think this is a unsweetened jammy rose. So it's a jammy rose without the sweetness, which I find very interesting because it's juicy and uh, spicy. And I think clove is the spice that I detect the most, but it's very well blended anyway. It's a great perfume in my opinion. It's not too woody, it's not too woody, it's not too leathery. Um, it's pleasant, it's well blended. And what I get the most when I wear it, it really is the jammy rose. But it's not a sweet one it's a juicy it's very juicy in the beginning and uh, it gets slightly less juicy uh, in the heart i highly recommend it the performance is very good as well so you're not going to be disappointed with performance with this one swiss arabian is a great uh, brand for performance in general but you know like many other middle eastern brands now let's talk about Rasasi, these two bottles we have here in front of us. I'll talk first about the one I like the most, or actually the one I like, which is uh, Jasmine Wisp by La Yuka One uh, Collection. So this is kind of a pricier collection by Rasasi. Um, it comes in a very beautiful woody box and um, it has a woody cap here. It says Rasasi. You see here, okay, see how beautiful that is. And essentially uh, the bottle comes a bit without, without being completely full. So I've been using it, but not much. 
and um, because you, you don't need to use much of this it's a beast performer like a huge beast and um, so it comes like you know maybe a bit higher than what I have now but it's, it looks like it's been used but it, it wasn't used uh, uh, it was new when I bought it and so essentially this is a dupe for um, Kirke by Tiziana Taranzi or Herb Herba Pura by Xarjov what do they smell like? Um, uh, so essentially this one is uh, it smells like uh, a fruity cocktail with coconut and there's some jasmine so essentially what i smell the most what i detect the most in here it's a fruity cocktail with coconut so this is a very strong perfume it lasts forever and yeah performance wise you really should not uh, be disappointed so i would really be confident that i can recommend you this one also in terms of performance so if you're looking for a very strong uh, floral uh, fr sorry, fruity <laughs> perfume, fruity creamy perfume. This is the one. I mean, Jasmine Wisp, I think it's a bit of a, a misleading name because uh, Jasmine is really the probably least evident of the notes. Uh, what I really find to be very evident um, is the coconut, uh, its milkiness and the fruity cocktail. That's it. The rest is just supporting uh, these main accords. It's a very beautiful perfume, especially for springtime. Uh, summertime, I think it can be cloying because of the strong performance and because of the milkiness. Um, you know, when it's very, very hot, I would not recommend wearing it, but it, it, it's a, just a matter of personal taste, you know, what you prefer for yourself. This is a perfume instead that I would highly discourage anyone to buy it blindly. Do not ever do it. So I'm going to explain you why. Someone on YouTube said that this is a, a Middle Eastern version of uh, Alien. Let me tell you straight away, it's not. Not at all. First of all, Alien is, you know, like an overload of Jasmine and Amber. I don't detect any Amber in this perfume. Or if it's in there, it's completely overwhelmed by the wood. And I do like wood, but this is this wood is barnyardy. This wood is fickle, so it's extremely indolic. So essentially, it, let me explain you how I see this perfume. To me, this perfume is white florals and wood, and the meeting point, the blending point for the white florals and the wood is the indolic fickle aspect of both. So think of getting the most, uh, not indolic in the camphorous way, but indolic in the fecal way on the floral, so maybe indolic or animalic aspects of white florals, and then put it together with barnyardy fecal wood. And this is where they meet. I personally dislike the, the fragrance. I blind bought it based on this review on YouTube saying that this was going to be uh, you know, a Middle Eastern version of Alien. It's not at all. I have it since many months. I've been trying, you know, to see whether it would change, maybe with time, maybe, you know, the chemicals would oxidize a bit and things would change in the fragrance, but it's still unwearable. I mean, what I'm trying to tell you is don't buy and buy it. Just try it first, see how you like it. And if you also think it's a Middle Eastern version of Alien, just go for it. Um, but be warned that some people will think you smell really bad. Um, I'm trying to work on it, you know, like uh, I'm waiting to see whether my nose will change, whether I will like it, you know, maybe in a few months. But up to now, I could not wear it. I, I mean, I bought it, uh, last spring like a year ago and uh, i cannot i cannot wear it i mean it, it i'm trying and sometimes i spray it but then i regret also because it's essentially impossible to get rid of it if you spray it on your skin you can wash yourself as much as you like this is gonna stay i mean it's a very strong perfume and uh, i mean a beast performer so this line by rasasi is a beast performer line be very careful with this one 
So and finally, the last one. So the last one is by Afnan. Afnan is another uh, Middle Eastern brand, and this is a sub brand by Afnan. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce it, maybe something like Noja, Noya. And the perfume is called Mask is Great, it's an extra de parfum, and also this one is a best performer, as you may have. Uh, understood if you know the initial brand this is a dupe for mask rehab or at least this is what people on youtube are saying i cannot i cannot um bring my um opinion on this you know i cannot tell you how close of a dupe this is because i've never smelled mask rehab which i'm going to try to fix as soon as possible and then i'll let you know what i think but meanwhile i bought this one because i found it on offer i paid something like uh, less than 20 dollars for it so this is named uh, Mask is Great and it's an extra de parfum and um, so essentially the way it smells to me it smells like mask, it's a strong mask it's kind of slightly creamy strong mask and it has something uplifting it has something uplifting but I cannot really tell you what that would be yeah maybe some sort of fruit that is uh, blended within the mask um, or maybe some uh, herbaceous knot um, it's not very clear to me um, but i think it's an interesting perfume if you are uh, into masks i'll let you know once i smell mask rehab how close this is and i think that's all for today i hope this was helpful to you and if it was please um, give it a big thumbs up consider subscribing to the channel and don't forget to activate the notification bell uh, such that you don't miss my next videos and i hope to see you there again meanwhile have a good one bye